Remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm. They're telling us there's a meteor falling from the sky. One hand, there's a meteor. One hand, it's military action. Military. What? What? Fireworks? I'm going, it's fireworks. It's fireworks. A meteor. I'm not prepared for a meteor. I'm not, I'm not prepared for meteor showers. I am not prepared for this. I can't stay calm. I'm in Manhattan. I can't do this. I am. We've had such a weekend. Now you want to add flying rocks from the sky in Staten Island? What are you doing? What is going on here? I called my mother. I said, fill the bathtubs up. Fill the bath. She goes, you don't have a tub. I go, that's true. I said, we have the pool. Where she goes, what the fuck are you going to do with the pool? What? It's chlorine. I go, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Drain it and put regular water in it and put a cover on it. I don't know. I'm harvesting. I'm like, bring in the basil. It's the only vegetable. The only thing I grow is basil. Bring in the basil. I told Rich, make sure you get batteries. Do we have those MSR, MSR, whatever those foods are, the military foods. Get those. He's like, you will never, ever survive a real catastrophe. I said, I know. That's why you're going to put me out of my misery if that ever happens. I don't want to survive it. I don't want to say I did it. I want to be put out prior. Cancel your hair appointments because if rocks are falling from the sky, I am not worried about your hair. I will be in the basement of some man named Rick's house in Idaho. Okay? Also, to know if a meteor falls in my pool and ruins my liner and ruins my summer, we're going to have a really big problem, okay? That just came to my mind. What if the meteor falls a little fragment of it and it rips my friggin' liner? I'm done. This summer, I'm done. Satin Island meteors. We're not equipped for that. We're an island. We'll sink.